MustangMedic.com. We show you everything from point A to point B, day one to day soul. So enjoy and thanks for watching. We work on, buy, sell, restore, Mustang and most of all, love your Mustang. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. The 1972 Mach 1 Mustang Restoration Project. You're being very negative. I'm going to loosen, loosen it up a little bit because I don't what? want. I don't oh. want. I don't want it to be too tight on the rubber. Okay. It's good though. All right. The next one. I want you guys to tight, get along. Tight, yeah, tight, tighten that one up. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to lower the axle. This beautiful little glossy black nice. piece of metal. Yes. Some, oh, I got something in my eye. I know, guys, I should be wearing goggles. You, you told me numerous times. There it is. I finally got my eye. Now I'm going to bring it down and push it forward. Because I want I'll do that. this pin right yeah. there. To, see that pin? To line up with that hole right there. So we're going to slide the axle forward. We're going to lay it into the spring. And then the bracket goes around that bolt right there. Sorry for my shaking. Yeah, there you go. There's my steady cam. It's uh. Well, it's adrenaline going, man. Is I'm working. See, see everything you everything you do all the everything you do all the work, Carlos. All right, I know. Okay. <laughs> right. Here we go. Let's do this. Here we go. I'm gonna have to take. You're not gonna be able to see us on video, guys, because it's just myself and Carlos right now. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> that was easy. That was easy. It actually came down with the uh, with the the angle of the uh, um, floor jack. It just settled right in. We had to jiggle the uh, spring a little bit, and boom, the uh, the boom. differential's laying in there. So here you go, boom, she's free, and now we're just gonna put the shackles on her. I already put the other drum back on her, the rusty drum, because we're about to put the tires on her, and she's gonna be sitting on her own springs and rolling out of here, rolling, rolling, rolling away, raw hugs. Right, so away it goes. Oh, oh, oh. Keep, try to keep the bearing uh, uh, out of the sand. We're not gonna have any, any more sand anymore. We're gonna have to rinse that thing off when we take it to the new shop. All right. Um, uh, uh, bracket, U clamps, bolts, and a little bit of sweat equity. Gonna put on the other one. And we're going to put that drum. I'm, I'm wire brushing the inside of the drums because they've got um, rust on them because they've been sitting off the car. Because I don't want them to grab onto those brake pads again uh, when we go to take them back off. So I'm just going to clean them up. So here we go. That's what it's going to look like when we're done. Again, sorry for the shaking. You see these U-clamps? They spread out. When you take them off, watch this. They don't fit in the holes. Look at that. Do you see the distance? Yeah, they don't it's like an easily. eighth of an inch, right? You see that, guys? I go to put them in. So you get underneath the car, you put them on, and suddenly you're struggling trying to get them to fit. Well, I got a little tip for you, Mustang Medic tip, on how to get around that. It's pretty straightforward. Take a rubber hammer, especially after you just painted your piece, and tap it like this. So you don't mess up the threads. Make sure it's a hard rubber. And look. Closer. 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 See that? Now watch this side. See, how, see that? Doesn't fit. Tap it. Gets a soft surface. And then boom. Ooh, nice and easy. What's going to happen is, is they're going to spread out a little bit because we're pushing them down over the top of the axle. But at least they're close, much closer than uh, struggling trying to get them through those holes. Make sure they fit in here first before you put them on. I'm going to tap this one a little bit more. And see? A little bit more. Now they're working with you. So now we're going to put them on. Try to ignore the rusty uh, brake drums because they're just on there temporarily. But there is the finished leaf spring install. All the uh, brackets are done. We're going to do minor touch-up because I'm a perfectionist. I can't help myself. And we're going to do that silver on the front of the differential over there later. But now the tires are going on. She's going to be put down on all fours. 
and uh, we're taking her to the new shop, the last car for Mustang Medic to go over there, at least for the moment. All right, so that's it. We got leaf springs on the 72. All pretty, brand new leaf springs. She's going to sit down. Carl's going to put her down. I'm going to edit a video so you guys can see this. Next thing you know, you're going to see her rolling over to the new location. And uh, I guess we'll just keep that in the 72 updates like we're doing. It's mostly a 72 day. Well, we're winding down to the end of another day, Saturday. And uh, we made good progress on the um, 72. She's all loaded up and ready to go. Leaf springs are on. Still some touching up I want to do, though. If I had more time, I would have uh, done it. But, uh, you know, I'm a perfectionist. So I can't help myself. But uh, there she is, all loaded up, ready to go. And confusing the neighbors. I'm sure they're all going to miss me. <laughs> Jet coming in. And this is the last car that will be kept at our residence. Mustang Medic has moved officially. Address is on the website now. And uh, if you guys want to come and visit us, please do. We'll be there every day, probably weekends and nights. But I am going to spend time with my family. Gosh darn it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Well, Actually, you know what? Instead of thanks for watching, uh, I'll have her, I'll have you guys see us putting her putting her in her space tonight, or maybe tomorrow. Right now, I think we're just gonna get the car around and go. It's, like, it's already getting late, and uh, we're pretty tired. Yes, son. Gotta go. Mustangmedic. This video series in part has been brought to you by Z Pizza. I've eaten there, guys. Original logo, original recipes, the original Z Pizza. It's awesome. Phone number there is 949-551-1555. And you can see Rachel's pretty darn excited about Z Pizza. She's like, I want more Z Pizza. I want more Z Pizza. She's hugging, she's hugging the car. She's hugging the car, guys. Check out the pizza. Irvine, California. Give them a call. Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration.